guys, welcome back to the Bayside Fabrication YouTube channel. Today I have a quick video for you and it's going to be how to weld a diff. Two of them actually. So we have two differentials here. This is a BMW E30 diff, which will fit and I'm going to put into my Z cart. This is a 410 ratio diff. And this is our good buddy, James Tal, AKA Jack Stan Jimmy S14 Nissan diff. So they should be very similar on the inside. We'll pull the case off or uh, pull the cover off the um, diff case soon and I'll show you that. But let me show you just quickly of what we're going to do and the steps to do it. First off, what you wanna do is actually clean these up uh, the best you can. These were super greasy and grimy. So what we did was just took some simple green on a brush and just kind of scrubbed them before we pulled any covers off or anything like that, just to get them to a decent baseline. These things aren't perfect. Uh, they've been sitting outside since we cleaned them for a little bit here. So it kind of is what it is, but you do that first. And then what you wanna do is pull the case off and drain the oil. So actually, Let's see that right now. So let's crack open James's here just to see what it's like and how everything looks. This is probably original. I don't know if it's been sealed up or resealed or anything like that, but we're gonna take the first look. Uh, okay. So you can just drain it with the bolt, with the uh, drain bolt, but this way is quick and you know, it works well. All right, so this is pretty much identical. Just a quick note, these differentials, these are both open diffs, okay? These are not limited slip units. That's why we're welding them. They're cheap, they're very easy to come by. This 410 cost me 90 bucks. James's came in the car. I don't know the ratio on his, but what we first want to do is inspect them. Okay. So let's just look at James's because I know mine's good. So what we want to do is inspect the uh, ring gear here and the pinion and make sure everything looks good and there's no broken teeth or anything crazy going on inside here. So as of now, James's looks pretty good. It might be a little difficult to see on camera, but it looks nice and clean. And everything is where it should be. So let's get this finished draining. What we'll do is we'll just pr prop it up here. And we'll just let gravity do its job. So while James's oil is draining on his, let me show you what the next steps are. The next step is to clean the unit, okay, after you inspect it. And what I do is I take acetone and create, and uh, almost create like a bath in here. So I, I squirt acetone in here, get it all around, and try to degrease it as good as possible. Because what we're ultimately going to do is be welding these four gears here. We're going to be welding right here, 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 and here. We're going to be welding these four gears together. That's the ultimate goal. And now you can see this is the end of the splines of our input shaft. We don't want to weld that because I want to be able to take these out again. So we do not want to weld that. And what I like to do is create little plates. So I took some 3 16 flat stock and I just cut this happened to be, oh, I forget the size offhand, but this is just a 3 16th little plate. And we're going to weld this right inside just like that, okay? So there's one more step that I'm gonna show you and that we preheat all this with oxyacetylene. That does two things. That A, smokes off and uh, heats up and gets rid of all the ex excess oil and any kind of grime and stuff like that that may be in here, but mostly oil, so it'll give us a cleaner weld. And furthermore, you can see these gears here, see how thick they are? It takes a lot of heat to get a good penetrating weld on these, so preheating them just really helps you out in that regard. So that's what we're gonna do. And James's diff is pretty much the exact layout as this one. So we're gonna weld these suckers up 
and it's going to be as easy as that. So that's all we want to do. We just want to get this nice and hot. One thing you do want to be aware of is the acetone that's in there. Make sure that's all dry. You don't want to go blowing yourself up here. So you just start heating the crap out of it. Okay, now that's nice and hot. We're gonna put our plate in here without burning ourselves. And we're gonna weld it. Now when you weld this, please don't use flux core wire. We're MIG welding this with Argon CO2 mix. We're first gonna tack the corners. Our four corners are tacked, and now we're gonna go to town. All right, there we go. Don't be shy with it. You can really kind of booger it on there and uh, you know, this isn't uh, something that needs to be super pretty, but you want them all to be connected. That's the end goal. Well, here it is, guys. Just as easy as that. So you can see, everything works and is free. There's no binds or anything like that. Everything spins in the same direction. And that's a welded diff. So I did two passes on each side, and in this situation, it's one of those deals where you really can't like overweld it. I mean, you can overweld it, so I shouldn't have said that, but you know what I'm saying. You can really hammer it on, and it's not going to hurt anything. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's that's it. It's that simple. So now we have a 410 welded diff, which is going to be super fun to slide around on the Z cart with. And like I said, I don't know James's ratio, but this is going to be the same exact thing. And it's, it's hard to kind of see in here, but it's the identical layout. So most of these differentials are more or less that operate the same uh, as far as open diffs go. So my recommendation is find an open diff that has the ratio you want, send it, and see how it goes. I got this at Junkyard for 90 bucks. Um, I really wanted a 410, and you can find these in all sorts of ratios. I actually passed up a... 446 or something like that which was a little too aggressive but you can find these in all sorts of ratios so right now in my z car i have a 363 uh torsen diff and that's probably worth like three or four hundred bucks so what i'm gonna do is take that diff out clean it up i'll sell that one and then i'll have this one as our uh our fun diff so easy as that guys okay so just finished up james's two Added a little touch on his. Little JJ initials for Jack Stan Jimmy. Let's we'll see if he notices. Well, that's two diffs done. Takes about 20 minutes to a half an hour each from start to finish. And that's it, guys. That's how easy it is to weld the diff. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all learned something. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. But it's as easy as that. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.